This is a quick video of my new through zero oscillator. Uh, it's playing a little something right now and you can see the wave on there. This is a sine wave and it has triangle. go back to the uh, sine wave. So basically what's, uh, if you're not familiar, uh, through zero means that it has regular linear FM that can modulate through zero frequency and then into negative frequency. So let's see what that sounds like. So you can get some pretty crazy stuff going. Now, we could also tune, well, that's going to take a different connection. Okay, hang tight. modulating source also follow the same volts per octave CV as the one being modulated. So that makes it a little bit more musical. Uh, so that's pretty much it. The other two neat things that it has is um, a uh, VCA for the envelope signal. So you could plug that into, say, an LFO. So that I'm speeding up the LFO. also has a hard sink, so we could sink it uh, from another oscillator, let's say. It's a, a reset type of sync. So if we look at the uh, triangle again, and sync that again, and see what that looks like. Now the, uh, I think the modulation, the through zero, sounds the best on sine and triangle, but you can use it on the other ones too. In the square mode, it kind of imparts kind of a PWM sound. Uh, speaking of PWM, it does also have PWM. should be about it. Um, the uh, only other control that you have, besides the obvious tuning ones, is the uh, the through zero offset. Basically what that does is it changes the reference current of the exponential converter, so it will make the modulation deeper into through zero, the more counterclockwise you go, and vice versa, until it basically just stops. Now if we throw pure modulation with an almost stopped 
oscillator, it sounds pretty cool. Then if we go all the way up. That's gonna be just basic modulation. It's probably not dipping into zero. So, I hope that that was useful and that you wanna pick one of these up or build it yourself. Should be available soon. Later.